Bandabox 2018 for Windows is here. There are over 50 exciting new features and an amazing collection of new content, including real tracks, MIDI super tracks, instrumental studies, loops, artist performances, amplitude presets and associated styles, 12 key real tracks, high Q, high quality guitar notation, and new extra styles packs. And we've added 202 new real tracks, double the 101 that we've often released in the past, including great styles like this crooner shout soloist, similar to our previous crooner big band real tracks, but playing soloing lines, harmonized by the entire ensemble. And for the first time ever in Band in a Box, background vocals, so you can have vocal oohs or ahs backing you up in your Band in a Box song. Among the 50 new features, we're introducing video reel tracks, which work like reel tracks but also include videos of the musician's performance. We've added a new audio driver system, Windows Audio Session, that has ultra low latency, less than 25 milliseconds on a typical Windows PC. This means that audio operations like playing or sending out information via MIDI happen with no noticeable delay. The Audio Chord Wizard has been redesigned and is now built into the audio edit window in Banana Box with a much easier to use interface and lots of other great improvements. The Audio Edit dialog has lots of other improvements as well, with an Audio Harmonies feature added, Audio Transcription which converts a monophonic audio track to MIDI, and the ability to fix tuning for an out-of-tune audio recording. We've redesigned the Banana Box folder so it's clean, with only a few files needed and other files organized in folders. We've added notation support for time signatures like 12-8, 6-8 and 9-8. The toolbar has been enhanced with skins and more customization. You can open and save ABC notation files, which are very common song files on the internet with chords and melody. Songs can now be saved as MP3 files in high resolution. M4A song saving has been enhanced and is faster. The popular song titles browser is enhanced with more songs, now 10,000, as well as filters and the ability to show titles that work with a specific style. Other style picker enhancements include a mixer-like control allowing clear display and style customization. A Real Drums quick list has been added with the option to find similar Real Drums. We'll look at all of these features in more detail later, but first we'll check out some of the amazing new Real Tracks and Real Drums added in Band in a Box 2018. Right now we're listening to a Real Style that features, for the first time ever, background vocal Real Tracks. If you're new to Band in a Box, I'll give you a brief introduction. Band in a Box is an auto accompaniment program that allows you to type in any chord progression in any key and it generates backing tracks for you. This is an amazing tool for practicing, songwriting, composing, teaching and music production. And that's what you're hearing right now. Everything you're hearing here, including the background vocals and all the rhythm section instruments, was created simply by typing in these chords, picking this style, setting the tempo, and pressing play. Band in a Box then did everything, and you can enter any chord progression in any key. I'll highlight this by making a couple changes to this chord chart. I'll change the chords in the first four bars. I'll change the part marker at the beginning to B, so the vocals will start off singing ahs instead of oohs. And I'll change the key of the whole song. And now you can see that it's playing over our new progression in a completely different key, and it still sounds fabulous. So in this video, we're going to check out all of the new features, but first, let's have a look at some of the amazing new content in Band in a Box, starting with some of the 202 new reel tracks. Americana has been one of the biggest user requests, and we've added 20 Americana reel tracks with drums, acoustic bass, Amazing electric guitar from Brent Mason and Colin Linden. Vintage electric piano. And sweet fiddle, like in this slow 12-8 Americana groove. There are also country singer-songwriter reel tracks, with more acoustic guitars by Brent Mason and Colin Linden.
We also have new 12-key country guitars, pedal steel, bass, and piano, many of them with accompanying video reel tracks, which we'll check out in more detail later. There are six new harmonica styles from Jelly Roll Johnson, which sound fantastic over classic country grooves. And we have new Canadiana reel tracks, complete with old-time guitar, banjo, and foot stomps. There are 11 new Celtic piano and harp styles, featuring Scottish pianist Dave Milligan. And these fit perfectly with Celtic ensembles from previous years. There are five new pop and rock guitars from Brent Mason and Joe Robinson, ranging from funky to folky with both acoustic rhythm and electric soloist styles. The extremely popular Band in a Box Pop Songwriter Toolkit now has 11 new acoustic songwriter guitar styles from Paul and Linden, Quinn Vachand, and Fintan O'Brien. Seven new soulful southern pop drum styles from top session drummer Lan Richards have been added. There are eight new modern dance hall reel tracks. There is a set of spirited klezmer styles featuring world champion accordionist Corey Pesachiro, accompanied by Neil Swainson on acoustic bass, Quinn Bashand on guitar, with matching reel drums by Terry Clark. Corey also features alongside Neil and Quinn with 14 other new European world reel tracks, including French styles, Italian styles, and Swedish styles. We've added to our extremely popular crooner big band styles with exciting new shout soloist reel tracks. A shout soloist is a big band arrangement where all the instruments are playing harmonized solos. These tracks feature an 11 part arrangement of trumpets, saxophones and flute that can be used as an ensemble or selected as groups of individual soloists. And that's what we're hearing now. Everything you're hearing, including this horn section, was generated just by typing in these chords. I'll emphasize this again by stopping. I'll change some chords at the beginning. Change the key. And press play. And now everything, including the horn section, is playing over our new progression in the new key. We also have other great new jazz styles in the Jazz Potpourri set, including jazz ballad strings. The new modern jazz set includes four Neil Swainson acoustic modern jazz basses and six corresponding modern jazz drum styles from the legendary Terry Clark, as well as new fusion electric piano reel tracks from Jeff Lorber. We also have new smooth jazz styles like this acoustic bass and brushes drums. And we have new percussion like a mark tree, which plays at the transitions from one section to another in your song. And we have smoking fast new bebop acoustic bass. We also have 32 new MIDI super tracks, including this Celtic piano. And because it's MIDI, you have complete control, meaning you can change individual notes or pick whatever MIDI patches you like. For example, I'll change this to a vintage electric piano. We also have new instrumental studies, including a set of hot jazz rock electric guitar licks. And we've added artist performance set eight, traditional songs sung by Beatrix Methe. This has eight well-known folk songs sung in beautiful harmony by professional singer Beatrix Methe. These songs date back hundreds of years and are popular all over the world. You're sure to recognize more than a few with origins spanning America, Ireland, Canada, and France. 
There are also new loops, including percussion effects. And classic beats, which are very basic drum kit loops, which can be used in a similar manner to a metronome for practice purposes. There are also new amplitude presets and associated styles. We also have six video reel track sets, including set one, pop ballad band, set two, country train beat band, set three, jazz guitar with Oliver Gannon, set four, pop and country drums with Shannon Forrest, set five, gypsy jazz guitar and blues piano with Quinn Bichand and Mike Rojas, and set six, Celtic guitar with Quinn Bichand. We have a separate video with an in-depth tutorial on the video reel tracks, but I'll give you a brief intro to them here. Video reel tracks are like regular reel tracks in that you can type in any chord progression in any key and they will play over your progression. But in addition to the audio, you now see the musicians themselves playing over your progression. To use them, you can pick a style that has video reel tracks available for one or more of the instruments in the style, enter a song as usual, setting the key, entering chords, and setting the tempo. So now we're hearing the reel tracks as usual, and we can now generate a video of them in the video render dialog box. And I've made this composite video of all of the musicians in this style. And you can make videos with a variety of layouts, combining the three different elements. Video of the musician, notation, chord chart, or a combination of all three. Check out the dedicated Video Real Tracks video at our PG Music Video Tutorials area of our website. We'll also put a link to it in the info section of this YouTube video. Another exciting new feature is the new redesigned audio chord wizard, which is now built into the audio edit window of Band in a Box. Previously, the audio chord wizard was a separate app and not tightly integrated into Band in a Box. This app is still available, but the improved built-in audio chord wizard can be accessed from the audio edit window. For the audio chord wizard, we also have a separate dedicated video that goes into greater detail with this exciting feature but I'll describe it briefly here. The Audio Chord Wizard allows you to open audio file formats such as AIFF, M4A, and more, and will create a tempo map that allows the audio file to play in sync with the bars in Banana Box. And it also actually figures out the chords to the song as well. This makes it an amazing tool for learning songs. For example, I'll open this song file, which incidentally is included in the Tutorials folder within your main Banana Box folder. I'll put the audio edit window into audio chord wizard mode. I'll play the song and I'll use the L key to tap in the bar lines, which get entered as these vertical lines. I'll let it auto mark the rest of the bars and I'll click analyze to have band in a box figure out the chords. And now it's playing in sync in Band in a Box and it's displaying the chords. Check out the dedicated Audio Chord Wizard video at our PG Music Video Tutorials area of our website. We'll also put a link to it in the info section of this YouTube video. In addition to the audio chord wizard, there are also other great improvements to the audio edit window, including the ability to transcribe and harmonize the audio. This window now has a nicer looking GUI with a dedicated settings button and a marker mode button. We've seen the audio chord wizard marker mode, but there's also a user tracks marker mode. I've got a song here that's using some of our new Americana 12.8 reel tracks. And I've got a fiddle recorded on the audio track, so we can see the waveform for that fiddle here in the audio edit window. Let's play a little bit of it. So, it's a simple monophonic fiddle line. Now first I want to show you the transcribe feature, which can transcribe a monophonic audio part like this fiddle. 
One new feature is that editing tasks in this window will apply to the entire track if nothing is selected. In previous versions, you had to select all before any processing would work. So to transcribe this part, I'll simply go to Edit, Transcribe. We can choose the soloist or melody track, and I'll pick Melody. And we can see on the melody track it's done a good job of automatically transcribing the fiddle. And now I'll show you the harmonize feature. For the transcription, I did the whole track. But for this though, I just want to process this short phrase in bar one. I'll select harmonize. There are several modes you can choose from. The chords mode will harmonize the audio based on the chords in your song. If you select this, you can choose a type of harmony from the Harmony Type option. You can choose either the Intelligent mode, which allows you to select the number of voices, or one of the Band in a Box Harmony presets. The Melody Track mode will add voices, up to four, to the audio, based on melodies in the Melody Track. The Soloist Track mode is the same, but will look to the Soloist Track. The Fix Tuning mode will analyze the audio track and correct out-of-tune notes in the selected region according to the key of your song. For me right now, I'd like to use a Band in a Box Harmony preset, and I'll pick number 40, Generic Two-Part Thirds. And now we've turned that fiddle into a nice two-part fiddle section. There have been many new features and enhancements made to the Style Picker. To start with, we've made improvements to the Song Titles Browser. The Song Titles Browser is a feature that lets you pick the name of a popular song, and it will then filter the style list to show styles in similar genres with similar feels and tempo ranges. Note that it's not providing you with that song, it's just giving you a list of styles that you can then use in your own song, but it will have a similar feel to the song you picked. Firstly, we've added 2,000 new song titles to the Song Titles browser, so there are now over 10,000 titles. And you can filter this list by genres, time signature, feel, tempo, and decade. For example, I could pick a genre or subgenre, and I'll pick bluegrass, and I'll also add 3-4 waltz, which filters the list to show all of the bluegrass waltz songs in the list. I'll pick I'm So Lonesome I Could Cry, and I could even listen to that song itself by clicking on YouTube or Spotify. But when I select this, the style picker will be filtered now not only by bluegrass and 3-4 waltz, but also by the other parameters in the song itself. For example, this song has a tempo of 120 and is swing eighths, so when I press Find Matching Styles, it's now put all of those criteria in this filter. And if I click on the first style, here's a style that's very similar to the feel and tempo of I'm So Lonesome I Could Cry. Again, it's not playing the chords from that song, that's definitely not the point, but it is playing a groove and tempo very similar to that song. Another great new feature with the Song Titles Browser is that it can work in reverse order too. If I've already picked a style but I'm curious about what songs already exist that have a similar genre feel and tempo, if that style is selected then when I go to the Titles dialog, I can just click on the name here to automatically set the filters and I can see there are 11 songs listed here that have a very similar feel. In the style picker itself, the main screen has been cleaned up, partly by moving lesser used buttons to the action button. Mixer like control allows style customization within the style picker. This shows what tracks are used in the highlighted style in the list, and color codes them according to the track types. Yellow for MIDI, green for real tracks, and blue for MIDI super tracks. There is also a menu button on each track, which allows you to change the instrument, disable or enable the track, or perform other track actions. So for example, if I'm in the style picker, demoing this mist style, and I think it's perfect but could use a pedal steel, that's easy to add. And now that's added, but the instrument has an asterisk to indicate that it's not part of the style. So if I selected this and play it, we have the style we were sampling in the style picker playing our song and with that pedal steel added. And if we now decide we really like this combo and might want to use it on other songs, 
we can save this combination of instruments as a unique style by pressing this button. I'll save it as Mist PS to indicate this one has a pedal steel added. So now if I make a new song with that style, it's now playing our custom combo. Band in a Box now supports Windows Audio Session Audio Driver, an alternative to ASIO or MME, which typically do not have great latency. The Windows Audio Session Driver has ultra-low latency, less than 25 milliseconds on a typical Windows PC. So audio operations like playing or sending out information via MIDI happen with no noticeable delay. When you boot up Band in a Box, it will already be set to use this driver without any action from you. But if you want to change the settings, go to the menu options, MIDI Audio Driver Setup, and press the Audio Settings WAS button. When the Audio Settings dialog opens, click on the Audio Drivers button. This will open the Windows Audio Devices dialog. This shows the audio input device that will be used for recording a voice or an instrument. If you have multiple devices installed in your system, you can choose a device from this list. Over here is the audio output device that will be used for playing sound. If you have multiple devices installed in your system, you can choose a device from this list. If this option is enabled, the playback or recording device selected as a default device in your Windows Sound Control Panel will be used. Use the Exclusive Mode if you want Band in a Box to take full control over the audio devices. In this mode, other applications might not be able to use the audio devices, so we recommend you do not use this mode. If this is enabled, sound will always be sent to the device. If this is disabled, sound will be sent to the device only when the song is playing. Enable this option if you want MIDI plugins to work when the song is not playing. You can choose a quality level for resampling. Low will improve performance if necessary, but high will sound best. This button will open the Windows Sound Control Panel. You can change your device settings by clicking on Properties, Advanced, for the default format, a setting of 16-bit 44.1K is best for Band in a Box. The Band in a Box folder, which is typically CBB, has become full of lots of files over the years. Up to 10,000 files are present in the folder on a full install of the UltraPack. With version 2018, we have fixed this and put the files into various folders. This is done with a cleanup routine. The cleanup normally happens automatically during installation, but you can run it manually by selecting the main menu Help Utilities Run Cleanup Routine. So the new cleaner folder has, among other things, ST2 Soloist files in a new dedicated folder, tutorial demo songs, program manuals and the help file in a new documentation folder, and STY style files moved from just being in the main folder to being in a dedicated styles folder. Songs can now be saved as MP3 files in high resolution, which can be done in the render to audio file dialog, or in the drag and drop area. A long requested feature has now been added, added time signatures. Notation now supports 12-8, 9-8, and 6-8 time signatures. Previous versions of Band in a Box only supported 3-4 or 4-4 notation, and styles that were actually 12-8 and 6-8 were shoehorned into 4-4, and 9-8 was shoehorned into 3-4. Now you can select 12-8, 9-8, or 6-8 by pressing the time signature button in the notation window and selecting one of the time signatures from the list. For example, I've got a song loaded from Artist Performance Set 3, Celtic Fiddle Tunes. The song is called Butterfly. This is a Celtic slip jig, which means it's in 9-8 time, three groups of 3 8 notes. But up until now, it was displayed in Band in a Box like this, as 3-4, with the beat resolution set to triplets. So there were still nine triplet eighths in a bar, so similar to 9-8, but not technically correct. Well, I'll just change that to 9-8. And you can see it's now correctly showing a quarter and an eighth rather than two eighths here. 
and the triplets are now showing correctly as three eighths. And of course, the time signature itself is correct. Other notation improvements include the ability to enter section numbers. Previously, you could enter letters only, but now you can also enter numbers. The vertical position of a dot on a dotted rest has been adjusted. A dot used to be drawn on the staff line, but it is now drawn between staff lines. When loading a music XML file, if more than 20% of notes are triplet notes, then the overall beat resolution will be automatically set to 3 in the notation window. Improved algorithms are now used for drawing slurs. A slur now just looks better, especially for notes that are very close to each other. And there have been improvements to both the guitar window and the piano window, making them easier to use in conjunction with entering notation in the notation window. Other improvements include enhanced display option with more customizable color items and skin support for the toolbar. For example, the default toolbar is a muted gray, but you can set it to have brighter colored buttons. The floating mixer window now has opacity controls. You can set it to be slightly transparent so you can see the chords underneath. Left click on them to change the opacity by a significant amount or right click on them to change it by a small amount. Flash messages are also now brighter for clarity. They also have a close button which is useful for closing green flash messages without performing the action. Also up to four messages can be on the screen at once, whereas previously only two messages could be shown. We've added support for opening and saving ABC Notation. ABC Notation is the simple text-based notation system used by musicians worldwide to store chords, melody, and lyrics of songs. Now you can open and save songs in ABC Notation format. For example, here is an ABC file that I've opened in a text editor. There are different simple codes for the different elements of the song. For example, this is called Kesh Jig, the key is G, etc. For the main body of the song, bar 1 here has a G chord, because it's in quotes, and the melody is G, then triplets G, A, B, then the chord changes to D, etc, etc. Well, I can open this file in Banana Box, and we can see the chords of the first bar are indeed G and D, and the melody, like I pointed out when looking at the text, is G, and then triplets G, A, B. And of course, you can also save to the ABC format as well. You can now demo individual variations of the real drums at the tempo closest to your current song by double-clicking on them. The set column shows vid if the video real drums is installed. VNA means that a video is available but not installed. There is now a simpler dialog for choosing real drums called the Real Drums Quick List, an alternative to the Real Drums Picker. It displays all available real drums in a simple list, which can be easily filtered by genre, time signature, feel, and more. The list can be set to show only real drums that are compatible with the current style of the song. For example, the current style here is Big Rigs, a country train beat style. So if I click there, it sets the filters to other drum styles that will work, namely country drums, 4-4, even 16ths, usable at 90 beats per minute. And if I wanted to filter further, I could type in tambo, and now I see this tambourine train real drum style. You can also set the highlighted real drum style as a prototype to find alternates to that real drums. For example, if I've got Jazz Funk Move-In selected, I can click here to set that as the filter template. And all these styles would work well substituting for that. We hope you enjoy all of the exciting new features and content in Banana Box 2018 for Windows. Thanks for watching and have fun!